Well, don't everybody speak at once. We're too impressed for words. Don't bait me. Then spare us the attitude. Talk to us. You claim that you're here to protect Eden. That means we're all on the same side, right? <sighs> Not quite. Lisa? Hmm? What exactly is it about Eden's relationship with her mother that disturbs you so much? You're the one with the couch for rent. Why don't you figure it out? So much for her undying devotion to her alter ego. You know, I would think that if you really wanted to help Eden, it would kind of behoove you to open up to us. Or if you won't, let her. Not a chance. Eden couldn't explain herself even if I let her. And how do you know that if you won't let her try? Because I was there. I was there that day. I saw her shut down. And I saw what it took to bring her back. Bring her back or keep her from ever coming to grips with what happened? One and the same, Sherlock. What, you think endless hours at a hundred bucks per on Dr. Feelgood's couch dissecting Eden's painful, misguided childhood is actually going to do anything but benefit this shrink's pocketbook? Well, I don't know. You're the one with all the answers. I'll give you a little clue. Wifey's little problem has to do with not thinking, but feeling. If Eden could handle that, then you wouldn't be here. Every high wire act needs a net. You were just lucky that you landed on your oldest daughter. Too bad your luck's run out. If whatever you intend to do, Lisa, will help Eden, do your worst to me. Oh. Sophia, in her most heartbreaking role to date, the martyred mother. Where was Joan of Arc when Eden needed her? Not to mention Channing. I think this is one saint that should not have been resurrected. I got a clue for you. Barrier for good. <laughs>